You look fantastic. I've made an effort, Conan. Yes, you have. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you. you. Thanks you for you look you look beautiful. That that we have people come out here and it's very cool to like come out in jeans and a, a t-shirt with gravy all over it. How and gauche. Yeah, terrible. I dream of it. Terrible. I've got my country to think of for heaven's sake. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're representing your country here yes, tonight. Actually, right. Now you've said that, of course, I just thought to myself, I can I tell you about my day? Yes. Because. I got up at five and I've just done, I've been sort of, not polite exactly, but mm -hmm. rather sort of charming and uh, about family and, yes. you know, family movies and nice things all day. Because you were doing, inter I've been doing, doing interviews. interviews all day mm -hmm. and just sort of talking to ladies about ladies things and then mm -hmm. talking to children. I had to do a moo bar game at four o'clock this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So could we just be as disgraceful as possible, please? Let's do it. You've come to the right okay, show. This is the, you've come to the right place. <laughs> thing I'm going to do is uh -huh. take my shoes off. Really? Yes. You just let your hair down, just sure. Talk about high heels for a minute. Yeah. How insane are they? You're telling me. I wear them at home. And Why? I... <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. I was going to say, have you ever worn high heels? I have never worn uh, high heels. I don't even think in a comedy sketch I've ever had to wear high heels. Is it difficult? It's terribly difficult. Try it. Go okay, on, I'm going to try it. Right? I can't not? tell you. Oh, well, you know, I was presenting at the Golden Globes, which is... Um, uh, my foot doesn't brutal. really even fit in this thing. Well, just just try. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll give you okay. the other one. All right. Why not? Otherwise, you'll overbalance and break something. Okay. Why not? Here. Sure. Okay. Now. Oh, why? Your foot is so sweet and pretty. Now, let's do the other one. Put it down, put it down. You're not quite sure. You don't want to, to offend a man's that, masculinity when he's trying on high oh. heels. I love it. It's good. I love it. I really like it. You do? Yeah. Yeah, that was fantastic. You see? That was fantastic. I think it's important to come on a chat show and give somebody an oh, experience yeah. they've never had yeah. before. I'm gonna wear a I'm gonna wear a bra tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tune into that show. That's gonna be good. You know, you did I did very well. Thank actually. you. A little too well, I'm afraid. I, I want to ask you something because uh, you know it is. You know, promoting you're promoting a movie, and you're you're you have to be so pleasant and charming all day long, and people forget that you got on a plane. You were in London. Recently, you had to get on a plane and fly all the way here to do it, which I find exhausting. And when I do a flight like that, I need like six months to recover. <laughs> it was actually, you're right, it's true. I am a bit sort of. And it was a very strange flight. Are you a nervous traveler? I'm not that nervous. My wife is a very nervous flyer. Yeah. Are you a nervous flyer? Well, I'm I, I, not always, but I was a bit this time. We had a very. It was British Air, it was a very swish, you know, mm -hmm. it was first class and everything, so it was lovely. Mm -hmm. But. You know what it's like when people say the wrong thing on the on the you know the loudspeakers. We'd sat there for quite a long time, and I'd started to get a tiny bit antsy. And then this rather dreary English voice said, um, "Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry that uh, we've got a delay, but the little engine that lights up the big engine." And I'm thinking, "Little engine, little engine. Right. I don't want to hear little. We, I'm crossing the Atlantic. I want a big <laughs> engine." <laughs> It's, it's, bro it's broken. Oh, I hate to hear. And yeah. You don't want you don't want to hear the word broken as you're buckling right. your seatbelt. Right. And then long pause. Lot. I mean, like an, like half an hour. Mm -hmm. Again, same voice. I'm oh, so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But um, the, we got another little engine to light up the little engine that fires up the two big engines, and that's not working either. Funnily enough. Right. Not funny. And then the man <laughs> sitting next door to me then put his hand. This is entirely all true. Right. Put his hand to get you know like the magazines out of the back of the chair in front of him right. and pulled the whole back of the chair off, <laughs> revealing a mass of wires. So, of course, wires are just, yes, are just... I thought it's a bomb. Yeah, 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 so yeah. So then, then I got up, panicked, right. to go to the loo. Right. Went to the loo, pressed the thingy to flush the loo in that right. whoosh way that right. they do on planes. Right, right. Didn't work. So at that point, I, I walked out of the loo going, well, plane's broken, the plane is broken, <laughs> plane's crashed, everybody <laughs> off, everybody <laughs> off! I love it. Emma Thompson went to the other everybody out! <laughs> <laughs> See, that, what I don't like is when <laughs> they say the plane is, we've got a problem, and then they spend a long time trying to fix it, and they say, yeah, we're having a lot of trouble fixing it. I always say, let's start fresh with a new plane. Let's get a new plane. Everybody let's, up, let's get a, on to another I, one. I always look out the window and I see 60 other planes. Let's get on one of those and go wherever those people are going. But don't try and fix <laughs> and my not plane. And die. I yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. Good option. Anyway, and I'm here, so. And that was a nice commercial for British Airways. <laughs> 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 yeah. So.
You're in trouble now. Yeah. Fly a mile for me, yeah. I think. Yeah, uh, you won't be back there anytime soon. No. Um, <laughs> you've had, you look lovely tonight. You've had a lot of attention recently for uh, looking very uh, glamorous uh, at, at events like the Golden Globes. We have a photo here. You've really, uh, you really, yeah, you've really been dressing very nicely. You look fantastic there. Is this? Is this something you enjoy? Do you, do you enjoy uh, dressing up? Is it fun? I never did used to. Mm -hmm. I always, I mean, I used to come do these, this sort of thing when right. I was a girl. Right. And always looked like a geography teacher. Right. Only on acid. You right. Because my behavior is, as you my know. My geography teacher was on acid. Quite clear so I know. Yeah. Really? You yeah. were lucky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, where's Australia? Does it matter, yeah, man? Who cares? Is it China? Is it Australia? <laughs> it's all the same thing. It's elsewhere. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, but you're you're doing that now. Is this what about when you're home? You're home. You're just cooking a meal. Do you do you uh, jeans, t-shirt, or do you like to occasionally dress I up do, there too? I do. I do jeans, t-shirt. I I have cooked a whole entire Christmas dinner in bondage gear. Did you really? I did. Do you have photos? <laughs> no, I don't. And the irritating thing about it was that I did. My husband gave me gave me all that stuff. You know, collars and really all things and. You know, the stuff, you know, they're all nodding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think people uh, are acting like, well, no, I've never uh, seen bondage gear. And they're all going home tonight and. <laughs> more, more. Yeah. No, but finally, when you finish cooking the Christmas dinner, uh -huh. it's all started to chafe a bit. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yes, so you I have do. to take it all off, put on your pajamas, and go to bed. Right. So it doesn't, you know, it kind right. of wears off. The whole kind of funny, oh, but you look so sexy in an apron and bondage gear. <laughs> Six hours later, you know, it's just not sexy well, I don't anymore. Think pe yeah, I don't think people want you to put on bondage gear and then, like, go wax the car, you know? <laughs> you I don't know. Do I some roofing. Advice. I don't know.